Hello guys and welcome back to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. Uh, and in this video tutorial we are going to need one more hat, a uh, torch hat. If you want to learn how to knit uh, the main stitch part in, in rows, please check my blog and there is also a video tutorial on my YouTube channel. But if you like knitting in rounds, as I do, so stay with me. We are going to learn how to knit torch stitch uh, in rounds. Uh, this is a pom pom head, so you can attach any pom pom, real one, four, or made of yarn. The variety of four pom poms you can find on my blog. Check also link down below. And let's talk about materials that you will need for this hat. Uh, again, I'm using a vintage yarn. Uh, you don't need to look for this yarn, that's just what I have. It is 100% acrylic yarn and has uh, 95 meters per 40 grams. You can check my gauge, but if you take decay yarn, it will be just right. And if you have a even lighter yarn, you can knit this hat in two strands of yarn. So it's like an option. And regarding the knitting needles, you can use uh, two pairs. Uh, for the ribbon part, you can use 3.5 millimeters circular needles or double pointed needles and change for the main part uh, for the 4 millimeters knitting needles, but it's only in case you, you want the hat to be an easy fit like mine, but if you want a tight fit, just uh, don't change the, the size of knitting needles and go on knitting in the main part uh, using 3.5 millimeters. I was knitting this hat for head circumference uh, 60 centimeters, so uh, definitely I needed uh, 4 millimeters knitting needles for the main part and as I said before 3.5 for the ribbon. For the ribbon for all sizes will be okay to use 3.5. So that's basically it about uh, materials and if you like this hat and would like to knit it uh, you can by the way make a child version or baby version it's easier just ca cast on the, the needed number of stitches. And let's get started. Uh, cast on 100 stitches or any other number that is divisible by 4. So for the baby size you can cast on uh, 68 or 72 stitches. Depends on the head circumference. And now cast on one more stitch to join and knit in the round. So in total 101 stitches. Slip the first stitch to the right hand needle and now slip the uh, last stitch over the first one, like this. And drop it off the needle. Pull tight tails. And return the stitch, the first one to the left hand needle. Pull tight again tails and place a stitch marker. And now we are going to knit a ribbon, knit one, purl one. You can also uh, knit a ribbon, knit two, purl two. Up to you. Uh, I like when I'm doing folded brims, I like knitting, knit one, purl one ribbon and go on, knit one, purl one. The first round is usually tight and if you are using longer circular needles it will, it will be even a little bit harder but after all it will it will be easier. Mm. 
need one girl one. Need one girl one. Just move a little bit stitches. Need one. Curl one. So please finish this round till the stitch marker and then repeat again. Knit one, curl one, and knit ribbon part until desired length. If you want folded prim or just a normal prim. And welcome guys back. I've done don't know how many uh, rounds, I didn't count. Let's just measure it. Because I, I said I want folded brim, so I've done 16, 16 and half uh, centimeters, uh, and it, it's enough for an adult size. And we are going to start the main part. And sorry, guys, I cut my finger. So uh, in order to uh, to make a video tutorial, I'm I am using a bent aid. I hope it doesn't irritate you. So as I said, I am going to need for the size 60 centimeters. So I am going to change now. And if you are needing for the size 53, 54 centimeters, do not change and go on knitting. So the first round will be pearl, pearl 3, knit 1, but only at the beginning I start with pearl 2, knit 1, and then go on with pearl 3, knit 1, and at the very end you will have one, one pearl stitch, and you will see it. So pearl 2, knit 1, then pearl 3, knit 1, and you repeat pearl 3, knit 1. Pearl three, knit one, and as you see, sometimes I pearl through the back loop. You don't need to worry the stitch. This is just a normal pearl stitch. Please pearl it as you usually do it. And I'm going on. Pearl three, knit one till the end. At the end you will have knit 1 and pearl 1. And after the first round repeat the, the second round same as the first one. Round number 3. Uh, here we start again pearl 2. And then from the knit stitch we are going to make 3. Insert the needle as to knit, drop the yarn and do not drop it. Then make a yarn over it and then repeat. Insert drop and now drop pearl 3 in this case and again from the knit stitch we're going to make 3 1 yarn over 2 and one more 3 and now you can drop it off the needle and again pearl 3 Again, insert the needle as if to knit, drop the yarn around and make a knit stitch without dropping it, yarn over and repeat. Knit stitch and then here you are going to drop it. And pearl 3. And repeat again, make 3 and after that Pearl 3. Same as before here. Please finish this round and at the end you will have make 3 from the knit stitch and pearl 1. 
Okay, round number four. I will show you two ways how to do this uh, round. So this is the first one. Pearl two, slip the first stitch out of those three. Then knit the yarn over the middle one, and then slip the third one. And pearl three. Repeat again. Slip. Knit one, slip, and pearl three. Let's repeat again. Slip, knit one, slip, pearl three. Slip, knit one. Slip and pearl three. At the end, don't forget the same. There will be one pearl stitch. And here I insert the part of the video where I want to show how you can knit the round four, same as it's written uh, on my blog. Uh, when you need the stitch in uh, rows, so basically absolutely the same. So we start with pearl two. And here, instead of slipping as we did it before, you need all three stitches. Need three. And that's it. Pearl three. And need three again. Pearl three. And again, instead of slipping as we did, knit three. One, two, three. So it's up to you. Choose uh, the way you like. So I don't know if you see the difference. The first um, two torches I have done by slipping uh, the first and the third stitch, and and the third torch I've done by knitting all. Stitches. I like uh, the second version where I need three. I think the torch look more open, but just try and it's up to you. No big difference. And let's go on with the main pattern, uh, round number five, pearl one. And now the next two stitches we are going to knit two together. Knit two together, then knit one, and next two stitches, slip knit pass over. Slip the next stitch, knit the stitch after, and pass over. Like this. So it's a right leaning and a left leaning decreases. Pearl one and again knit two together, knit one, slip, knit, pass over. And again, pearl one. Knit two together, knit one, slip, knit, pass over. Please finish this round till the end. And round number six, pearl two. Knit one and here curl three, knit one. Sometimes you see I pearl through the front, sometimes through the back loop because 
uh, it depends on uh, what kind of stitch goes after knit or pro it's not necessary that you're going to do the same just purl 3 knit 1 Finish this round at the end. Don't forget there will be knit one and then pearl one stitch. It's only at the end. Then you are going to repeat everything from the first round. Pearl three knit one, pearl three knit one, then uh, pearl three makes three, and repeat all those six stitches as many times as needed. In my case, I want my head to be about. 21 centimeters. Welcome guys back and let's measure right away. So yes it's exactly 21 centimeters. Let's count how many torches I've done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and after that I need uh, two more <coughs> rounds and now let's start shaping the crown place stitch marker and in this round we are going to decrease this second and the third pearl stitch so the first one is here and at the beginning I mean so we start right away from the decrease so we purl two together in my case uh, i purl through the back loop and it's not that convenient so i want to turn them and i'm going to decrease through the front loop purl two together and uh, this is the third round so uh, it makes three stitches out of one makes three and purl one and again the second and the third purl stitch make a decrease purl two together and make three again purl one and purl two together uh, it's not necessary that you're going to turn your stitches as well as i am doing and this is just in my case because I'm purling through the back loop the way, just the way that I'm knitting. So go on repeating purl one, purl two together, make three till the stitch marker. And the second round, purl one, and as before, so you can slip first and the third stitch or knit them all, knit three, and that's it. Pearl two, knit three, pearl two, knit three, pearl two, knit three. Curl two. So go on like this to the stitch marker. Round number three, we are going to decrease two stitches uh, in each section. Uh, so knit two together, knit one, and here slip knit, pass over. Again, knit two together, knit one, slip knit, pass over and let me show you again knit two together through the front loop knit one and here you need decrease left leaning decrease so you make slip knit pass over and repeat again knit two together knit one Slip knit, pass over, 
like this, it works. Go on to the stitch marker. And round number four, there will be no decreases. Curl one, knit one, and <coughs> curl two. Again, knit one, curl two. Knit one, curl two. Knit one, curl two. Knit one, curl two. Go on like this to the stitch marker. Round number five. And again, we are going to start with decreases. For this, I need to unravel one stitch of the previous round. Again, I'm going to make curl two together. That's why I turn stitches. Then knit one. And again, curl two together. Turn stitches if needed. Curl two together. Knit one, curl two together. Knit one. Curl two together. Go on decreasing till the stitch marker. And round number six. There will be no decreases here. So curl one, knit one, curl one, knit one. Curl one, knit one. So it's a simple ribbon. Curl one, knit one. Curl one, knit one. Go on like this till the stitch marker. Round number seven. Knit two together all the way around. Knit two together all the way around. Knit two together. Two together like this. Knit two together. Go on till the stitch marker. Round number eight. Knit all stitches around without decreases. Knit, knit, knit. Not that many stitches already, so it's a little bit tough to move. If you have the same size of double pointed needle, please change. Go on knitting all stitches. And the last round of decreases. Knit two together all the way around. I think it might happen that you will have just one extra stitch at the end without pairs, so just knit it. Knit two together. Knit 
you two together. Go on till the stitch marker. Okay, so I have finished the last round. Cut the yarn, leaving at least 10 centimeters still. And now I'm going to pull through remaining stitches. So I said uh, that it may happen that you have you will have one stitch without pair at the end, so just knit it, as I said it previously. Thread through the yarn needle. And pull through all stitches, through all remaining stitches. Like this. here okay from one side and from another one And the last one. Pull tight to close the hole and that's how the crown looks. I like this hat together with pom-pom. It doesn't necessarily need to be a fur pom-pom. It can be, as I said before, a yarn pom-pom. Just because this hat looks great with a with pom-pom. So pull the yarn, the tail to the wrong side, pull tight and now weave in ends, so go on underneath remaining stitches once or twice. Find that stitch and go underneath. So you can do it yourself and one more tail at the beginning. So as we have a hat with folded brim, we need to weave it on the right side. this just underneath You can use also hook if you don't have a yarn or tapestry needle. Like this. Just pull here a little bit. And cut. That's how the hat looks. Now you need only wash it and dry it, dry flat. 
and as I said, pom pom. Uh, I like this hat, this pom pom. White one, it's for this color. I like this combination, color combination. Uh, can be another one, uh, can be also black one, uh, will be good. Uh, or without pom poms. If you hate them, so without pom pom is also good. It can be a little bit slouchy. So, like this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have questions, please leave them in comments. But sometimes I cannot answer how many stitches you need to cast on uh, because everyone has different gauge, everyone uh, is a different type of knitter, loose or tight. But if you were using some type of yarn before and knows how many stitches you need to cast on for your size, please use this information. Thank you so much one more time and I hope to see you soon. Bye!